Police have defended their decision to let murderer Paul Russell Wilson go after they found two knives in his car boot the night before he murdered his second victim. 56-year-old Paul Wilson, also known as Paul Tainui, was sentenced today in the High Court at Christchurch to life in prison with a minimum of 28 years. It comes almost a year after he raped and murdered Nicole Tuxford in her Exeter Street home. Katie Todd has the story. Wilson, who changed his name to Paul Tainui, admitted last year to raping and murdering Nicole Tuxford on the morning of April 7, just after she arrived home. The night before, he failed a breath test at an alcohol checkpoint on Bailey Ave and police found two knives in his car boot. He was still on parole for the 1994 murder of his ex-girlfriend Kimberly Jean Schroeder in Hokitika after being released from prison in January 2011. This morning, a packed courtroom heard how much Ms Tuxford's murder had impacted her family and partner. Her mum, Cherie Gillett, says the pain will never go away. The Christmas just been really hard emotionally without Nicole here. It was my most cherished time of the year, having my three daughters, my son, my grandchildren together. It was heart-wrenching on the day. And it hurts to think our future Christmases and holidays will no longer be with Nicole. Standing across the courtroom from Ms Tuxford's family, Wilson refused to look them in the eyes, despite their repeated pleas for him to do so. The Crown was seeking a sentence of life imprisonment without parole, which would have been a first for New Zealand. Crown prosecutor Pip Curry told the court there was a very high risk Wilson could harm others, and read from the reports of three psychologists. He has no emotional connection with the suffering his offending has caused his victims, specifically and broadly. He has not benefited significantly from prolonged psychological therapy. An ability to con and manipulate others through the course of the psychological therapy and appears to have convinced those treating him that he'd made significant gains when he had not. Justice Manda told the court Ms Tuxford's murder was committed in cold blood. He sentenced Wilson to life imprisonment with a minimum non-parole period of 28 years, which means he won't be released until he's at least 84 years old. Justice Manda says he is satisfied that will protect the community, but he says there is no sentence the court can impose that could heal the emotional harm caused by Wilson. Whether as an offender who presents such a high and persistent risk of such violent offending, you will ever be eligible for parole remains unknown. It seems unlikely, but it cannot even begin to be contemplated for you are an elderly man. After the sentencing, police defended the actions of the officers who stopped him for drink driving as he was on his way to Ms Tuxford's house. Detective Inspector Daryl Sweeney says they couldn't possibly have taken him into custody. He was a determined offender and the judge highlighted that today, that he was on a path and that, that path may have started some weeks prior. Again, I'd like to highlight um, that the police staff uh, in uh, the drink driving checkpoint that night have been traumatised by that. They've given it a lot of thought, but of course they were doing their best with the facts they had at that time. He was he presented as a calm individual. The families of Kimberly Schroeder and Nicole Tuxford consoled one another outside the courtroom after the sentencing. They say they are dubious that Wilson will ever feel remorse for his actions. In Christchurch, call Katie Todd, 10A.